Hello everybody and welcome back to the Atlanta Falcons franchise. We're sitting at 1-1 one and one on the season with a chance to bounce back here against the New York Giants and Saquon Barkley. But before we do that, we're going to jump into the first mock draft of the season. As you can see, the top five are just the top five prospects as that does, has, doesn't, hasn't changed at all. So we're going to go down and we're going to look for us. And right now they're having us pick at number 23, the, a wide receiver, Justin Freeman out of Oregon. He's six foot two, 217 pounds. Let's take a quick look at him here. Suffers from concentration drops. Excellent, but exceptional body control. Fights for every yard. Great snag, snagging passes in midair. Avoids big hits. Wants to take every catch to the house and typically avoids getting flagged. And look at some of his uh, potential attributes. Acceleration, great to elite. Agility, decent to solid. Ga change of direction, great to elite. Great to elite. Great to elite. Great to elite. So he looks like he'll be a pretty good receiver. I just don't think we're going to be picking that low. So we might be picking somebody else. So on to our weekly game plan. And for our defensive, the game plan is pretty obvious. We are going to defend the outside runners. We don't want uh, Barkley to break big gains on us. So that takes us to our offensive game plan, and we are actually going to change it from run inside to blitz counter as we've seen our offensive line needs all the help they can get, and I just feel like that is the best option for us for most games, actually. So let's jump into it here as the Giants start off with the ball on their own 25. Daniel Jones drops back to pass, gets his quick to his receiver, and he almost picks up the first down. It'll be second inches, hand enough to Barkley up the gut, and he gets it the first down by a few yards. So now on a third and three, Jones back, drops back to pass again. He's going deep for Galladay, and he just overthrows them, and they'll have to punt. As we come out on the field for our first drive, Ryan drops back to pass, and he finds Pitts running across the middle, and he'll pick up the first down. Now a second and five. Hand up Mike Davis, cuts it back up the middle, then he cuts it back to the left. He picks up the first down and then some with that 11-yard run. So... Just outside the red zone, Matt Ryan will drop back to pass on first and 10, going deep for Pitts, and he drops it in the end zone. <clears throat> so now we're looking at a second and 10. Matt Ryan drops back to pass again, this time finding Pitts over the middle, and he will hold on as he, we pick up the first down and get just outside the 10-yard line. After a holding penalty moves us back, Matt Ryan will drop back to pass, rolls out to his right, throws it for Zacchaeus, and he will get picked off as he thought Zacchaeus was going to run up the field, but he sits in the zone, and he'll be picked off. So we do get them to eventual third and 13. Daniel, Daniel Jones will drop back to pass. He's going to get rid of it just before the pressure gets there. He's got Galladay for the long first down conversion as they get him a new set of downs. So first and 10 now. Jones drops back to pass, and Shepard's going to get in there. And this time, he'll get a sack which will lead to it another eventual third and 15. Can we stop him here? Daniel Jones drops back to pass. Wide open guy running across, across the middle of the field, and he gets stopped just short of the first down. That'll be fourth down. But instead of punting, they decide to go for it as they're at the 50. Daniel Jones, he's in a play action to Sa Saquon. He would have had the first down if he had handed it off, but instead that pass is tipped, and we get the ball back right at the 50 as it's a turnover on downs. So our first play, we hand off a little delay to Cordell Patterson. He takes off, makes a man miss. A lot of green in front of him. No one's going to catch him, and that is a touchdown. That was the perfect play call for that defense as their linebackers were up at the line of scrimmage to start, but they bailed out uh, to get their zone coverage, and our offensive linemen were able to attack, and Cordell Patterson did the rest as he made the first and only man miss and just outran the other safety to the end zone. So we have the ball back after the Giants punt on their next drive with about two minutes left in the half. Ryan will drop back to pass. He's going to go across the middle to Pitts, who's got it, and he's going to pick up the first down, and that takes us to the two-minute warning. So that'll be third and one now eventually as Ryan drops back to pass. He's got Ridley looking deep. He throws it up there to him, but he doesn't put enough on it, and Ridley cannot make the catch. If that was led, he probably would have scored a touchdown, but we do have to punt. So we do get a quick three and out as we get the ball back with about 40 seconds left. So we're going to go for it here. Matt Ryan will drop back to pass on first down. He's got Hayden Hurst across the middle. He'll pick up the first down and we'll use our first timeout. So first down and 10. Matt Ryan drops back to pass. He's going to have Pitts over the middle. He's going to pick up the first down and a few more and get out of bounds, saving us a timeout. 
So now first and ten. Matt Ryan will drop back to pass. And this time he's got Ridley over the middle. And he's going to get hit hard and he can't get out of bounds. So we'll use our second time out. Now as we're just outside the red zone. First and our second and six. Matt Ryan drops back to pass. Pressure in his face. Throws it up to Ridley. And Peppers will step in front of it and make the interception to deny us points on that drive. And that will send us into halftime. So we start with the ball in the second half, and it's second and 13. Matt Ryan will drop back to pass, throwing to Gage Jr. off the right, and he get, gets the catch, and he turns up field and gets a bunch more to pick up the first down. So now we're looking at a first and 10, handoff to Patterson out to the left side. He's going to turn it up field, and he'll get about a 13-yard gain on that rush. So now first and 10 again on the other side of the 50. Keep it on the ground with Patterson. This time to the right, he takes off, and he's going to pick up another first down with that run. He's had a pretty good game so far. 77 yards. Second and 10, it's this time inside the red zone. A handoff this time is to Mike Davis. He's going to take it to the left, get the edge. He stopped just short of the first down, but that will set us up at third and one after having second 11. But after a holding call on what would have been a touchdown by Davis, is third and 11. Matt Ryan drops back to pass, looking for Ridley in the corner of the edge zone, and this one is picked off again. Ryan's third interception of the day. So on to the Giants' next possession after the interception. We have him at third and six. Daniel Jones has all day in the pocket, and he's going to find someone down the left sideline wide open. If you give a quarterback that much time, they're going to pick you apart as he did there. First down, Giants. And now this is their best scoring chance of the year. Daniel Jones drops back to pass again. He's going to find Ingram across the middle, and he's going to be stopped at about the one-yard line, but he's right there knocking on the door. So they're at the one. Daniel Jones is under center. He's going to hike it and pan off to Barkley, who has a wide open lane, and that will t tie the game up at 7-all with that touchdown. So on the ensuing kickoff, this one's kicked deep into the end zone. Patterson should probably kneel it, but he decides to take it out, and he's got a lane. No one's in front of him. He is going to go all the way. And on the ensuing kickoff, the Falcons take the lead back 14-7, to and I honestly didn't know if this was possible. I have never even been close to returning a kickoff until just this play here, but I'll take it as we go back up on top. So that takes us to the fourth quarter as Daniel Jones will come back on the field. He'll drop back to pass. He's going to find Galladay across the middle as our defenders kind of bump into each other. And he'll pick up the first down and then some. So now in third and one, he drops back to pass again. And he avoids the sack by Davison and he scrambles. He's going to pick up the first down and then a lot more. He is going to pick up 17 yards on that scramble on what should have been a sack. So now they're on the other side of the 50. Jones drops back to pass. We send a blitz. And this time he can't get away from the pressure as he goes down. And that'll be a sack. Second and 22 now. It's, he'll have to drop back to pass again. And here he goes. And he's looking. He's under pressure right away. And we get to him for the second straight play. Jarrett is going to have his first sack of the day. It is now third and 35. So they're going to have to send this one deep to have any chance. And it's kind of crazy. Look at this. He has all day after getting back-to-back -back sacks. I mean, seriously, all day. Not even anywhere close to him. He winds up and goes deep, and we drop the interception. But it's going to be fourth and very long as they have to go for it as they are just over the two-minute mark. So Daniel Jones will have to heave this one deep, and he's going to throw it to Galladay, who gets bumped off his route. And that is going to be a turnover on downs as we take over the so on the other side of the two-minute warning now is we're going to try to run the ball, kill some clock, and kill their timeouts. And so we're going to start off here by hand, hand off to Mike Davis, who makes a cut back on the inside, gets a block from the fullback. He's going to break a tackle and get to the 10-yard line as they use their first timeout. Now, first and goal as, as we're just inside the 10-yard line. Mike Davis will get the handoff again, and he cuts back up to the middle. He's going to carry two guys into the end zone, and that should just about do it here as we are going to go up 21-7 to with just under a minute 50 left in the game. So the Giants are going to have to score and score quickly as they're looking at a third and two with a minute 30 left. Jones drops back to pass. He's going to find a receiver on the left side who keeps it inbounds. First down. Now first down. Daniel Jones drops back to pass and finds another receiver on the right side, and he stays in bounds for another first down. Now third and ten here. He drops back to pass. He's going to wind up. He's going to go deep, 
One on one in the end zone and he catches it, but no, the receiver drops it. It is now fourth and 10 and this is the ball game here. Daniel Jones drops back to pass. He's got, you know, all day here, but Fowler Jr. fights through his block and he gets to Jones as he never feels the pressure and that will be turnover on downs on this great hustle sack by Fowler Jr. as we are now able to just kneel out this clock and we are going to move to two and one on this young season. What an effort today by Cordell Patterson. He had a long touchdown run, about 50 yards, and then that 105 yard kickoff return. And he provided all the offense we needed today. And he is on a contract year. And he, the way he's playing, I don't see his, there's no way we don't resign him. We, we just have to, we can't let him go. He's just been too, he's just been playing too well lately. So that is going to wrap up week number three here. As, like I said, we moved the two and one and I would say we did a pretty good job on Barkley he didn't really break anything he had a few runs here and there but nothing that was uh, too game breaking um, another uh, point of concern is Matt Ryan had three interceptions again he had four last week three this week and with the way that Patterson is playing and even Mike Davis when he gets some carries as we may switch to more of a running attack, um, you know, just to give some pressure off of our offensive linemen, it's obviously it's easier to run block than it is to pass block. Um, so we're, we're, we're going to maybe switch some things up here and see how that goes. Maybe we can get some more offense as we can't rely on kick returns going forward because that uh, I don't think I'm going to get many more if I even get another one. Um, but I am going to wrap this up here, so I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, do not forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time here at Cardboard Cutouts.